is going on, everybody? Dan, I'm Felter, checking out Unleash the Archers, the wind that shapes the land. They have a common theme. I, I believe this will be the fourth Unleash the Archers songs I will have heard. Uh, Awakening, Apex, uh, was it now, Tonight We Ride, something like that. All three, the titles alone have an epic like journey, like a Lord of the Rings quest vibe to them. This is no different. The wind that shapes the land. Like, come on, man. It's all very, like, you would think Norwegian, but I think they're Canadian. So it's kind of odd. But you'd think it's somewhere in Europe, like Viking helmets. That's what you picture with all their music so far that I've heard and the titles. And every one of their songs I've heard so far have, like, dueling guitar solos. Like, they have two guitars that absolutely melt faces, and they kind of go at it in their, in their solos. Like you, you, they're trading off. Let's see if this continues that. I'm excited for it. This comes from James. If you guys have any requests, there should be something there to click. Let's do this. Canadians. Who knew? Another quest. From this moment, I will not be the same. No more crying for the things I can't change. Here, I will put this tale to rest. Finish what I started long ago. And though. Epic lyrics. Oh, every every time. Epic lyrics. Like it, this, sticking to the same formula of they sound like it's going into like an '80s action movie, like this or Lord of the Rings, one of those type of things, which is early 2000s. But you get the point. One of those, like this, would be the montage portion of an '80s movie, where you're putting the gang together one by one. The main characters like getting old friends from the past while this music's going, getting ready again for a final journey. Fantastic.
talk. little effect they did there they had like her high-pitched scream layered in the back but it started before she actually did the main high-pitched scream so they kind of it layered in the back up real high and then she does it and kind of meets it and they layered together i don't know if i've heard that i was gonna say scene but you know what i mean i don't think i've heard anyone do that before have the layer behind start before the actual Scream is like the main scream is done, like starts. The other one is like mid. They, they met. Uh oh, here we are. great is they also in their songs it's like it's like a small movie or novel because we're at the part in the movie this is about when it happens it's a little beyond half so it's like the middle of the second act this is where we would get our our real like struggle our first big struggle for the main characters and they they do this in their songs it's kind of crazy like it's happening now Give us the solos. They did it again. The solos got to be coming. Let him cook! I think that was the moment they switched off. Maybe not. It's, it's Without the video, it's hard to tell. But I think they just switched off to the second guitarist. And here we go. This is what I was talking about. Here we go.
She talks heavy, too, in the songs. Like, she really, like, puts herself on a goddamn heroic pedestal. Like, she belongs on Mount fucking Olympus or something. She, the oceans rise and fall at her command. That alone, good quill, good, good penmanship for the writing. And just the fact, I am the wind that shapes the land? Talk. Heavy. Like, that's awesome. <laughs> that is. Oh, also, trademark drumming cadence here, right now. They, they've done it in the other song, a couple of the other ones, too. The, uh, it's kind of like the, kind of like the horse gallop. It kind of goes to this. Nicely done, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, man. Like, this is just who they are. This is just what they do. They do these, like, musical movies. And it's just... The imagery is fantastic. It really feels like you're... Like you're watching, again, like a Hobbit movie. Or, uh... What's the... Or Clash of the Titans. The original. The, the, the old version, I think, from, like, the 60s. That. That's what it feels like. She's like on Mount Olympus describing the gods. It just has that vibe. And I, again, I'm almost as into their stuff for the lyrics than, than the music itself. Lyrics are fucking strong. Like, again, she talks, again, very poetically. It's like from an older time. It's like using old English type of speak here. Written by Shakespeare himself. That type of thing. Good old Bill Shakespeare. But they also have, like, two teases of, of guitar solos and then finally gave it to us in, the, in, like, the third act portion. But they had, like, two teases. I was like, this is it. And then after, like, four bars, it was over and the chorus came back. I, I do like teases as long as you give it to us eventually. And they did. Don't tease the whole time and then... We don't get the solo. We're just left with guitar solo blue balls. Not cool. But they did give us. They did did give it to us eventually. Good stuff. And again, I like that it. It's their stories. They're little stories, musical stories. It's like a tale around the campfire type of shit. But again, for like the medieval era, that's what it feels like. Got someone with like their little banjo fiddle looking thing, wearing some like elvish hat. Singing tales of of past heroes, fallen heroes, because we literally we got like three moments of adversity in here, in this song. Literally, like you're reading a book, like an audio book, but in music form. Good stuff. Good stuff, James. Appreciate you, homie. Let's check this. Let's just check this out. What am I talking about? It's over. The fuck? My brain got scrambled. And if you are still here, Canadians though. Canadians? I thought they were, I thought all they did is hockey and comedy. They have a lot of comedians. Google com Canadian comedians. It's like the Mount Rushmore of comedy. It's fucking loaded. But I thought that was it. Apparently, they also do power metal power ballad epics. My best way of describing this genre. A real one. 